Fifteenth tee. Justin Thomas, an absolute ripper down the right hand side. Yeah, those first two matches we were up in Europe was up in both of them. And all it takes is they now all square. Those two get turned around. The American team see that on the board. Dynamic changes. McElroy just for the iron. Hugely important for both sides to get points on the board early. Over to 15. This brutally difficult closing four holes. Flag 17 on just four yards off the left over a little mound. And that is a very, very clever shot. Uh, Rory McElroy second to 15. Thomas in good shape. This is a pretty straightforward putt about a ball outside right, fairly flat. If anything at the end, it goes downhill ever so slightly. It's where he started it. Oh, you're kidding. You're kidding. How did that stay out? That's exactly what Justin Thomas was thinking. He hit the putt absolutely as he wanted to, and it looked in all the way. The door ajar now for Rory McIlroy. Rory couldn't get up there and throw that one back to him quick enough. <laughs> that was a, uh, a bullet dodged for Rory, and Rory has a, just a gentle downhill putt, a little bit more so than what Justin Thomas had. Hard to see much break. If anything, if he hits it softly, it might go left to right. Another short-ish putt missed by Rory McIlroy. You can see how frustrated he is, he is with that. And the annoying thing for Rory McIlroy there is if that putt goes in, he's guaranteed at worst to see this game go down the 18th, which would have been a bonus. What a glorious picture that is on the 16th tee. Four holes here at La Golf Nacional, a natural stadium, a natural amphitheater. Thousands of fans waiting to see the final drama. 163 downhill, minus six. It's 155 to carry the water right on line with the hole. There's a false front. Little to no wind at the moment here at 16. Shot from Justin Thomas, a little unlucky not to get the slope that's just behind that pin on the 16th hole, but he'll be thrilled to have a birdie chance from there. Takes a different sort of person to go at that flag when you're all square. Whew. Well, of course, he feels that he shouldn't be all square. He still doesn't know how that last putt stayed out at 15. What kind of response does Rory McElroy have? Top match. And Rory likes to move the ball right to left so a right hole location over the water is not easy thomas is in there tight probably forcing him to play a much tighter line that he'd be comfortable with a little left of the hole gives you more margin for error yeah. you wouldn't be surprised to see this left of the flag with his shape well it's just not made for him but i'll tell you what oh my Oh my. Oh my indeed. That's on its way. Crab and ballistic. <laughs> well, as Jay said, he had to go a little left of the flag. <laughs> Nothing.
I think he can do now. He's prepared his team brilliantly. He said all he hang, all he can possibly say, and he sent them out to finish the job. I think he's looking up in the sky. They're saying, "Why did I forget my Valium?" Thomas to putt first. Put the pressure on. This is downhill, right to left. Has a pretty good size swing to it. Such a good try, but it stayed above ground. And just as that ball got near the hole, you could see Justin Thomas's left knee twitched as if he was going to get on the move for a big fist pump. I think he thought he'd made that one. Uh, it looked impossible three feet from the hole to Justin Thomas's putt to miss. Now Rory to go one up with two to play. And this is a quick one downhill. If anything, it might want to fall a little left to right. Speed is an issue. <laughs> yeah, with Rory McIlroy's putt of this cold, I'm Fearing the worst now for Rory McIlroy in the top match. Thomas right down the middle at 17. This is McIlroy's response. Match all square. <laughs> Needs to stay in the air and cover this left-hand corner. Oh, it was just a couple of yards away from being perfect, but it's a long way up there, but in the rough. To 17 then. Yeah. Europe up in five, USA up in four, all square and three. Down, Europe still projected to win, but it's pretty close. Thomas is in the fairway, well below the level of the green, win from the right. He's on a big side hill lie in the fairway, ball well above his feet with this left hand hole location. You have to be careful here, you cannot miss it left, it'll go down a bank. Go ball. So hard. Uh, it's a good shot, and with Rory in the rough, he's going to have to find something here. But well, that was a brilliant shot. Not only did it blow the hole, short side of himself, it was a very brave shot from that side hill lie. McElroy from 154 has a terrible lie. He's right in a buggy track where the buggy was going in the opposite direction. So all the grain is into the direction he's swinging. Gonna be very difficult to get this up on the green, even with his strength. Set, 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 set. the third, he's had 13 set. straight pars since then. And on the majority of the holes, he's had good birdie opportunities. It's just been a nightmare with a putter, and that's come out like a bullet. Rory's second went underneath the uh, photographer's stand, so he took a drop, and the ball really settled down. The ball's well above his feet, slight uphill lie, but he has to land it on a severe down slope, and then it goes less down all the way to the hole. But it's very difficult to get this to stop within three feet. Some McElroy magic required. Beautifully played. Could be the key part in the top match. Justin Thomas to go one up, one to play. Yeah, I said at 14 it could all hinge on one putt. He's got a good chance here. Uphill, just a little left to right to win the hole and go one up. hit a brilliant shot from over the green to get it this close to the hole. This has a big swing from the right. He's going to have to start this at least a ball outside the right edge. 
there's no uh, no consequence for how far it goes past should it miss. So he might want to take a little break out and start it just barely outside the right edge and kind of slam it in there. This for a half. Oh, the relief. And some more red on the leaderboard. The USA are now up in six with Europe up in four. Two matches all square. The match score is suddenly projected to be a whole lot closer. The ebbs and flows, you have to love it. One of the most intimidating tee shots in golf, more so with the wind straight off the left. 3.05 to reach the water where it cuts in on the left through the left center of the fairway. Mashed potatoes! <laughs> Magnificent drive from Justin Thomas. This fabulous closing hole, which we haven't seen since Friday morning. There hasn't been a single match gone to 18. Doogie, that was such an incredible tee shot. He hit it up in the bottleneck. That just showed a lot of bottle right there, let me tell you. Probably a more difficult shot for McElroy because he likes to move the ball right to left. Uh, guy never likes it when the wind is hitting in his back that moves it right to left off the tee, and that's what he's got right now. It's strengthening from the left. Going right, there is some thick, thick stuff out there. In the bunker, bunker it is. I think that was on the upslope of the bunker. Plugged. That looked awfully like it. Virtual showing us the tee shots of Justin Thomas and Rory McIlroy down 18. We were pretty sure that Rory's ball was actually plugged. And there it is, completely buried. Well, they actually uh, considered just punching it straight out in front of him at the rough, but he's going left, trying to get it to the fairway. It's a big call. It's about 22 yards to the fairway from where he stands. Ball well above his feet and really deeply buried. Playing three. He had to gamble trying to get it out to the fairway. I agree with what he did. The short discussion they had about just hitting it straight out into the rough. He could have gotten out of the bunker at that angle, no problem. But playing out of the downslope out of the rough was not a, an option with Thomas in the fairway. Thomas is only 152 to the hole. First match always sets the momentum. At the moment, it's looking good for the US, and they're now up in more matches than they're down. The projected score still showing a European win. A two shot gap not that long ago. It was predicting 17 and a half, 11 and a half. This has been a really good half hour or so for the US. This is a situation where if it was stroke play <coughs> tournament, he would just lay this up with his third short of the water. He doesn't have that option. He's 192. He's not going for it, Jay. Or is he? He has to, Sam. Well, he can't lay up in three and hit on a four. He, Thomas just has a nine iron to the green. Yeah, I know. He can't it's a, it's a, he, he can, can do barely impossible. see over the top of the lip. It's a fairly level eye, 192 to the hole, 165 to the front edge, and that's at the far left point of the green. To carry it in line, it's about 170. I, I, Sam, the more I think about what you said, I really don't think he can carry, get it over the lip and carry it over the water. No, the camera angle we're seeing here, Jay, I don't think he's got any chance of getting this over the water. Huge shot to take on for Rory.
caught the lip. I have to believe this will be a concession right here. End of story. Top match is going to go to the USA. Justin Thomas is going to get the better of Rory McIlroy. And the first score on the board will be red. So it's still 15-13 at the moment. But it's looking awful smelly for the Europeans. They're going to have to dig deep. Just a simple task now, get it on the green, the match is over. No, it's fabulous. Fabulous shot from Justin Thomas, he's been great. And that's a fantastic victory for America to beat our number one, Rory McIlroy, in the top group. His, part, his opponent is six feet away in two. But you must never give up, you never know, might hold this and... Maybe Justin Thomas will fall off the bridge into the water or something. I've only seen the 18th twice all week, and that was a way back on Friday morning. Well, McElroy hasn't played it. And the one chance it gets to play it, and it all goes horribly wrong. Well done, Justin Thomas. He wins one up. Friends to the end. Well, that's the spirit of the Ryder Cup, and that's the way we want it to remain. To watch another Ryder Cup video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.